the downloader app if you get that right in the Play Store. Once you have that, get in there, and then at the search bar on top, I want you to type in F Droid RetroArch. When you do that, you're going to have this page load up here. And you can see the RetroArch logo there. So just click that. It's going to bring you to this page. Now it tells you, let's go all the way to the bottom. Okay. You could download the F Droid app or you could download RetroArch separately. I like to download the app because then any updates, it will just come through the app. You won't have to manually update RetroArch. So I already got the app downloaded. Download it, and um, once it's installed, delete the file, okay? So it's already installed. I got out of that. Now, once you download the F-Droid app, for whatever reason, I haven't figured that out yet, but you're not going to see it here at the apps. So here's what you're going to do. Go to settings. Oh, wrong one. Settings. And then you're going to go to apps. If you go down, you'll see the F-Droid app there. Once you go to the F-Droid app, all you need to do is type in RetroArch. Okay. So search there. Retro. And there it goes. Well, let's type the full thing. There we go. And there it goes. So I already have Retro Arch on my device, so I'm not going to redownload it. But let's get out. And here's another piece of advice, right? Have your whatever Bluetooth controller you're going to use, I use a PS4 controller, have it um, connected to your OnBox already. Because when you go into the Retro Arch app, you cannot use your regular remote. I'm pretty sure there's a way that you can. I haven't gone that deep into it yet. But when you open the Retro Arch app, you're going to need a game controller. Um, and it'll automatically configure. Okay, so I got my controller on. Go right to RetroArch. Voila, baby. There's no need to download the APK from the computer and 